All right. Let's go ahead and start this bitch off. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Lights of the Game. <laughs> Best intro yet. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm Carl. I'm Chris Ham. We're going to play some scary ass. Let's go to hell, Dante's Inferno. Woo! Chris Ham never played this game because. Is he thought that it did bad? Uh, no, I never played this game because I don't particularly care for this style of game. Hey, what's up, lady? Uh, see. Ya. Oh yeah, uh, viewer beware. There's a lot of nudity in this game, so just keep that in mind. Oh fuck, is there really? Yeah. Am I gonna have to, like, edit? Nah. You don't think? Nah. Cause it's not real nudity. Yeah. I don't know how that works. I'm gonna have to look into it. Yeah. Well, we'll Cause see. I know YouTube doesn't allow like nudity. All right. Under the... Oh, I missed that. Yeah, that's okay. We'll read it back on the... Hot playback. Summer War Odd Saladin... Saladin. Doug and... and oh, shit. I need to learn how to read faster. Yeah. All right. Well, this is crazy, because like, literally after the first time I played this game, I never saw this part again. Yeah, that's Dante. Oh, is he like sewing the fucking Scarlet Cross into his chest? Yep, that's exactly what he's doing. God damn. Yeah, he's pretty hardcore, man. Yeah. That is a devoted... Uh... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that, but he made a funny noise. <laughs> <laughs> made a funny face. Yeah. It's October, dude. I'm excited. Yeah, me oh, too. Oh, look. His shit moves. It's like Harry Potter paper. Yeah. Like, uh, throughout the game, you'll get the storyline through his cross. It's really cool. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, look, Mr. Frodo and Oliphant. Yeah, straight out of 300. Oh, shit. Yeah. Directed by Zack Snyder, huh? <laughs> So as you can tell, he's a crusader. Right. And he's out just wasting people. Yep. See, and I'm Dante. All right. Let's wreck some stuff. Yeah, this isn't. Um, I didn't play this because it got bad reviews. I didn't play it because I'm not a huge fan of the like of this style of game. The like, what what do they call it? Like. Uh, it's, it's just a modern day beat em up game, though. Yeah, but it's a little different. It's the like the God of War Bayonetta. Yeah. Uh, there's a, there's a term for it. I can't remember what it what people call it. Um, shit, I don't know. Well, all I gotta say is like I played God of War. Like spec spectacle fighter or yeah. spectacle brawler or something, where yeah. it's just like all combos and you do crazy shit and kill like. Just wave after wave of fucking dudes that are pointless unless they're ganging up on you. Right. Like, these guys pose no threat to you whatsoever. Yeah, because they just stand there. Like, I mean, if you were really in this situation, they would like, yeah, these, all be these, attacking these be, you at the same time. Yeah, they'd be hacking the shit out of you. I should probably turn it down. Think I should turn it down? Yeah, just a little bit. It's on the top left of the remote. All right. This is this makes for good, good audio. Us. Being like, oh, the volume's a little loud. <laughs> there, that's that's probably better. That's probably better for the microphones. Yeah, exactly. No, it is better for the microphones. Exactly, exactly. All right, well, here's how this is going to work. Our first episode is going to be me, like, doing this because, like, it's the beginning of the game. And, uh, plus, I really want to fight death again. Like, that's awesome. And you don't get to do that whenever you play through on resurrection mode in this game. And what game. do we say to death? I'm going to fight you again. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Derailed you. Yeah, a little bit. I was <laughs> a little thrown off there. Running around, running around. Oh. Oh, something's happening now. Oh, and I'm... Really? Dead. Yep. Really? Fight off like fucking 77 dudes and then this guy just sneaks up, stabs you in the back. That's exactly right. You got taken out like a chump. Isn't it a bitch? And there's death. <laughs> I 
He's got the cross and everything. It's like, oh, it turns out uh, God and Jesus didn't really want you to hack a thousand people into tiny little pieces of cat food. Well, who who would have thought? That, well, that comes into play later in the well, storyline. Yeah, of course it does. This is based on Dante's Inferno. Yeah, damn right it is. All right. Although I heard very loosely based. I don't remember this part of Dante's Inferno. I don't ever remember reading Dante's Inferno. Okay. I well, think, you know. I forgot that he is kind of like an asshole. Death, not Dante and his Inferno. I mean, Dante's kind of an asshole too. That's yeah. That's kind of like what the story is. A bit of the point, yeah. He like he's gotta fight through hell. He like promises his wife he's not gonna cheat on her during his crusading, and then he winds up sexing up some hoe. And it's like you don't know what it's like. <laughs> have all these sexy brown women everywhere. I couldn't be faithful. It was literally impossible. Dude, he's like fucking... Wrecking your shit. You better get with it, bud. I should have done this on an easier difficulty level. I thought you were good at this game. Uh, well, you'll, ah. see, you'll see why I'm good, because I'm not going to play through it like this. Uh, as soon as we get done with this part, like I said, you don't get to play this part in resurrection mode. So that's probably another reason why. I see. Yeah, that's the thing is that Carl wanted to show us the beginning and then he's going to go into like the new game plus mode yeah. where he's got all his badass shit so we don't have to slog through it. Because this is our Halloween episodes, y'all. We got to get this done. Got to do Halloween right by going to hell. That's just, right, straight to hell. Just like last time. Can you believe we've been at this for almost three years, Carl? Have we really? This will be our... It will be... When Thanksgiving comes up, it will have been our third Thanksgiving. We didn't do a football match last year like we said we were going to do annually, but it's because a whole bunch of shit got in our way, and we took a big, long hiatus. So we haven't actually been doing it for three years, but the channel is three years old, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Remember, we started fucking around with the, all of this... Uh, around Halloween last year. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the year before last year. You're totally right, my friend. I did, yeah. Um, our first, our very first episodes were the the X-Files. Remember that? Yeah. We only did a couple of episodes and said, nah, fuck this shit. <laughs> Which, weirdly enough, one of our... Okay, so I totally died. Great. Yeah, I forgot that death is kind of... Like, they start the game off, like, beating you down. Yeah. Like, death is hard to fight. I think it's just all about, like, blocking. Yeah, you gotta get those blocks. I like the background, though. Yeah, this game, like, that's why I don't understand how it got terrible reviews, dude. Like, the, this, the atmosphere of this game is awesome. Like, they did such a good job with, like, every little detail. I don't know. Sometimes people just dogpile on stuff. You know, one, one famous, you know, reviewer, YouTuber, whatever, says it's stupid and... And then everybody's like, yeah, it's totally stupid. Well, see, and also, maybe it's like people that were like a fan of the actual book, Dante's Inferno, were like, man, this isn't <laughs> anything like Dante's Inferno. I don't know if that had much to do with it. There's... Dude, that's not like a hard deal to read, isn't it? It's all like poems and shit. Yeah, it's like one big, long poem. It's like, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's not like... I was going to say it's like the Canterbury Tales, but it's not quite like that. Oh, the Canterbury Tales. That was fun and shitty to read at the same time. Oh, God. No, I know it. It's like, like God, I, this is so interesting and I want to enjoy these stories, but it's just so hard to parse through because I don't speak fucking old English. Yeah. They've made like, there's like an, a, an abridged version that is there... like is kind of more... Like, they just kind of retranslated it to make it easy to read. <laughs> Dude. Do you, think, do you think every time Death takes, like, a person, he has to fight them every time? He's like, <laughs> God. But it's like, you know... It's sad, but it's like, you know, like a little 12-year-old kid. It's like, I don't want to do this. Not even fair. I think that's exactly what happened. It's on this platform every time. Yeah. 
Like, get ready, guys, because yeah, you die. Yeah, and he accidentally, like, every single time, like, drops bits of rubble into hell or heaven, wherever it is that he ends up. Yeah. They're like, Death, seriously, could you make your portal a little smaller so you don't suck entire buildings into it? Yeah. This is really getting to be a pain in the ass to clean up. I'm going to as soon as you let me defeat you, <laughs> asshole. See, and that doesn't make sense either, because you defeat death, and you take a scythe, right? Uh-huh. And then you go to hell. Like, if you defeat death, like, you would be alive after that, right? No. You're already in the portal, man. You're on your way. He's just killing time. Oh, he's just like, yeah, this yeah. is kind of a boring trip. Why don't we just fight each other? There's going to be a lot of traffic <laughs> on the 35 to hell, so <laughs> we might as well just, you know. Kill a little time, fight each time. other. I know you're a warrior. I like to fight with my scythe. It's not just for looks, you know. <laughs> Ah, uh, that move is so much fun to use, too. Oh, so you get to use all this stuff he's using against you? Yeah. Nice. Not that, though. You don't get to... But, yeah, man, you're, you're already on the highway to hell, so... You just happen to beat him on the way, and he's like, Fuck, oh, yes. now you're death. Alright, so I can take a side of now. You're in trouble now. Oh, uh, I... Ooh. There you go. Yeah. Now we're getting our Dark Souls up in here. Or, I mean, uh, Bloodborne. God damn, dude. Bloodborne's so good. I love scythes in a game. Well, there's a sick-ass scythe in Bloodborne. Soul Calibur has uh, Zasalamel, and he uses a scythe, and that's it's so much fun. Like, actually, he's got a scythe that looks similar to this one in Soul Calibur. Oh, shit. Yeah. Why does Death have blood? I don't know, but I just ripped him in half. <laughs> ripped his blood in half. All right. That was tight. Fuck yeah, dude. Get to fight Death. Little storyline here. Florence, Italy. Oh. I, I roamed that area extensively in Assassin's Creed 2. Oh, I thought you were going to say you actually went to Italy. I was well, like, I, did. I didn't know that. In Assassin's Creed 2. Oh. Like, I was Ezio, and I lived there. And I got banished from there. And I had to come back to there. This is a big, long story. Oh, wait. So he does live? Yeah. He's got the scythe there and everything. He's like, yeah, I got fucking stabbed, killed death, came back, took a scythe from the ethereal world. I'm living life large. Yeah. I'm going to come home and fuck my bitch. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, or, or is That's he? an omen. Or is he going to fuck his bitch? Do you think he's going to have time to fuck his bitch? Oh, ooh, that's his dad. His dad's dead. Jeez. That is an ornate murder weapon. <laughs> yeah. Ornate. <laughs> Sorry, Jesus. Where's Beatrice? I need Beatrice. Oh, no. Yeah. You his... get to see her boob. Get ready, everybody. <laughs> Boom. Close your eyes if you're under 13. <laughs> Close your eyes. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to put a black bar on that. Yeah. This is going to be a bitch. To I'm not going to do it. Fuck YouTube. I don't care. Yeah, dude. It doesn't matter. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah. Uh, I... You can't post videos for a couple weeks. No, they'll probably delete our channel. Oh, we'll just start a new one. Late to the game. Two. <laughs> Dose. <laughs> Later to the game. Uh, here's Satan. I hate Satan in this. I really do. That's <laughs> such a weird thing to say. Every other time, Satan's all right. But yeah. this time... Satan's usually a pretty cool guy, but he's kind of a dick now. I mean, how would you feel if you know Satan was all feeling up on your girl? I'd be pretty pissed. I'd be. Yeah, you're. You're right. You got me there. Not just Satan. Any man. Not cool, Satan. Not cool, any man. All right, so. <laughs> nice. So this is uh, pretty much what this game is now. No, it gets better. Trust me. Well, what do you mean? I just this is this is the reason that I don't typically care for these games like God of War and. 
Devil May Cry and this and stuff like that. Like, I just... I don't know. I start... I, I really quickly lose interest when it's just, like, wave after wave of just messing up, dude. I understand the appeal of it. I'm totally cool with it. Um, it's just not my cup of tea. Yeah, it's not mine either, but this game, for some reason... I think it's the story, and it's the atmosphere that really captivated me. Yeah. And, uh, see, there's upgrade systems, like all this shit. These are moves that you learn throughout it. And yeah, that's... And it's pretty, pretty basic. You got relics that you collect. You've got uh, different magics that you can use. Uh-huh. Uh, collectibles, you have to find three Beatrice stones on the right and then 30 pieces of Judas silver. Beatrice stones? Beatrice stones! It's even Judas got... 30 pieces of silver, that's kind of cool. Yeah, you collect them shits all day. Alright, and then we're about to be done with this episode because uh, this is like the descent into hell. It's it's about to happen. All I right. think it's about to like blow open and I'm going to be like, no! Let's get to hell so we can get this Halloween started. Yeah, get your Halloween started right straight up in here. In hell. All up in that here. All in a steel cage. Wait, no. That's not it. Hell in a seal. <laughs> when are we going to play a wrestling game? We need to do that. Oh, sure. We haven't played a wrestling No, we played a bunch of boxing games. Yeah, we'll have a wrestling week. That'll be fucking fun. We need to do our second boxing week, too. We said we would. We never did. Yeah, well, we say a lot of things. <laughs> oh. We do say a lot of things. Oh. Yeah. Is that magic coming out of her... Yeah, she's... Her, her hoodie. Oh, yeah. Is that Beatrice? Yeah. Oh. Uh. I don't know, because you got that tattoo, and I told you not to. It's really bad. Yeah. It's a terrible tattoo. I told you it was a bad idea. You didn't fucking listen. Now this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> the beast has led me back. Help me before my house burns down. By all that is holy. I vow to forsake all pleasures of the flesh until I return from this noble crusade. I gave myself to you because I know will be faithful to our love. Mercenaries of Florentina! In payment for taking the cross to reclaim the Holy Land, your immaculate father hereby absolves you of all your sins. That's important to you. Of course, yeah, the all... evil, creepy bishop yeah. told told everybody that God totally wants you to murder all these people. Welcome to hell, everybody. Oh, shit. Yeah, you in hell now. Hell is very close to his house. Yes. Well, it's close to all our houses, Chris Ham. <laughs> Handy for the bus. That's good. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm trying to get to hell. Uh... It's in your backyard, brother. <laughs> well, that's convenient. All right. What if he had, to, like, he had to, like, travel to, like, Alaska or something to find the hell mount? Or, like, uh, he had to go to Buffy's, Buffy's town? Shell? No. What was the name of Buffy's town that she lived in that had a portal to hell? Ooh, shit. Dude, that's like a... Uh, 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 u